All right, everybody. We are back. So, we are on box number two of 2022 Series 1 Tops. Already opened one hobby box. It was all right, you know. Um, basically, this card saved us. So, hit the Juan Soto home field advantage case hit. Uh, these are selling, you know, a couple a day right now on eBay. The auctions, the last three that ended were $220. So, that paid for two of these boxes. Two and a quarter boxes, actually. So, pretty awesome. I have like seven people who have made me offers over 150 for it already. So, I put it up on eBay. That would be nice to just be able to recoup the money from the, the boxes on just one card. And then whatever we pull from here on out is all a bonus. We also got one Wander, just the base, and hit the Ricky Henderson out of 199. And then got some cool inserts. And, uh, you know, from the silver pack, we got a home run challenge card. Luke Williams, rookie rainbow foil, a DeGrom rainbow. But we didn't hit any numbered parallels at all. Frank Thomas die cut. I thought we had hit a gold, but it was just all these wood grain cards. I got a couple of the other good top rookies that I'm collecting. So, was not... I mean, without that home field advantage card, it was a not a good box. But, we're going to get into this second one here and see what happens. See if we can get lucky. We're looking for an auto. That's what we want. Wander, I believe, is a redemption for what I've seen. I saw a Wander redemption for sale online. But, you know, I've also seen people pull manufactured patches out of here, which I would be really pissed if I pulled just a manufactured relic out of here. Like, come on, man. In hobby boxes, when you guarantee one autograph or relic, that needs to be at least a player-worn actual thing instead of some fake medallion but just my opinion when you're spending this much you know but we're gonna rip through these and try to get some hits man that one card made it so i can just open all these boxes so last time i did this last and almost forgot about it but let's switch it up let's go with this one first because these wanders are selling big man if you can hit one in this Jackson Kowar, rookie, Reds, Barry Larkin, Royals, Bo Jackson, getting some Hall of Famers, and Nolan Ryan, interesting, bunch of uh, retired guys there, you know, might as well get a Hall of Famer than some no-name pitcher, I guess, you know, so put those off to the side, and we'll get to ripping. Equals out to where I can do three packs at a time here. Let's see if we can get lucky, guys. Come on. We're looking for a Wander, Parallel, Short Print, any of that. Um, I did watch a guy break a case of Hobby Boxes, and he hit the Super Short Print Wander. And he, in, all in the same case, hit the Gold Wander, a Gold Foil Wander, and a super short print wander all in the same hobby jumbo case but a lot of people i've been seeing have been doing the jumbos but if i could get three of these hobby boxes for the price of one i'm good i'm gonna run my luck with these zach short we got a juan soto 87 thank you guys for watching if you guys are new Hit that like button and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I am basically at 200 subs and I'm going to be doing another giveaway here. So definitely, definitely check it out. You can get in now. Come on, let's get something good here. Cedric Mullins. Here comes a rainbow foil. It's upside down. Jackson Reitz. Rookie rainbow foil. Brandon Marsh. It's a good one. Key Brian Hayes, future stars. I do like this year's design better than last year. 
I don't like when the names are hard to read. The only complaint I would have is what a lot of other people have said, too, about the rookie logo being too small. But here comes another rainbow, or is this an insert? Generation Now, Austin Meadows. Now, all these inserts you can get in numbered parallel form, but like I said, man, I didn't even hit a gold in my box. I didn't hit any numbered cards except for the one relic card. And I mean, it's cool. It's a game-used Ricky Henderson card, but we're looking for them parallels. Low numbered, if possible. Three hobby boxes. Trying to increase my odds. I know there's, what, six jumbos in a case. I don't know how many hobby boxes are in a case. Like 12, probably, or 10 or something. Marcus Stroman. Trying to hit that case hit other than the insert. Looking for like a big time auto or something. You hit a Wander Auto. I mean, that's like a new car. <laughs> For real. You gotta get while the getting's hot. I mean, yes, if he's the next Juan Soto, Mike Trout type generational talent, then his cards will go up more. But in my experience, seeing guys with that level of hype coming into the league and their cards are so ridiculously high, you know, there's a Luis Robert 87. It's really hard to live up to those expectations. Yes, he did have a good on-base streak and was the number one overall prospect. But how often do those number one overall prospects actually turn out to be what people think? Kirilov, future star. Welcome to the show, Kirby Puckett. De La Cruz. All right. Getting into the next three here. I mean, when I saw that Jason Dominguez, guys, Jason Dominguez sold for like, what, a half a million dollars, his super fractor. I was like, dude, this is insane. This is belligerently insane, dude. You cannot tell me that's a good... I mean, I guess if you know him or something and you just wanted to be the guy to own it, but it's literally just a pissing contest at that point. And people are thinking about getting the social media or something. I don't know, but that's crazy. That's like impossible to live up to. He has to be the next Mike Trout for you to even make that reasonable. Trey Turner. Love to hit a short print, too, man. That was, I mean, anything. That last box getting no numbered cards other than the Relic, that's not cool, man. Not cool. It's like those mega boxes, you know? Welcome to the show, Jackie Robinson. Pache, Future Stars. Man. This is how my other box started off. Just some real basic inserts. And then around this point is when we started hitting stuff. I wonder if the uh, correlation in the packs are the same, like the hit falls in the same place. If that's the case, do not buy <laughs> single packs, single hobby packs. Not a good idea if that's the case, because I would have to uh, watch back the video from the first box I just opened, but Andrew Vaughn. Thank you guys for all the support, though. I've been reading the messages and trying to get back to everybody. I do put my email and Facebook contact information in the description of my videos so if you guys ever want to reach out do a deal 
I am always down. I have PayPal. What do we got? Oh, one of those flashiest feet. Manny Machado. Like I said in the last opening, to uh, feed into the sneaker guys who came over into the hobby as a hustle. Randy Rosarania Gold Cup. Home Run Challenge card, Mike Trout. So far, gotten one of those in every pack. I mean, every box, so. Mike Trout's a good one to get. Hopefully he comes back healthy this year and let's, I mean, people must have forgot. Like, I mean, yes, his rookie cards still sell for a lot, man, but people start talking like he's uh, past the prime, dude. But right before he went down, they're calling him the GOAT. So, I mean, I think he needs to come back and remind people how good he is. All right. Still haven't got the wander in this one. Still no numbered parallels either. No hits, no numbered cards yet, so let's hope. Brandon Marsh. That's a good one. 87. Here comes what looks like to be a relic. Darn it. Well, we'll see here. What is it? San Diego. Manny Machado. Non-numbered. Game used memorabilia Machado. Not what we're looking for, guys. Welcome to the show, Eddie Murray. Man, this is hopefully going to start heating up, man. This is like the last box, except worse. <laughs> Our relic wasn't numbered, and I mean, that, like I said, that case hit saved us in that last box. So let's hope, fingers crossed, that something is going to come out of here. I mean, we're ripping all three boxes anyways, but you would hope that getting three boxes like this, you're going to hit at least a few good numbered parallels, but REITs. Another Brandon Marsh. So, getting doubles now. Nicky Lopez is supposed to be one of the cards that leads to Wander. But the coalition switched. So, hopefully, we'll have one coming up here. Jaron Duran, rookie. Did we get the set? Frank Thomas. Now, there are numbered versions of these, but this one is not. Is that the same one that I got in my last one? Let me see here. Yes. Great. All right.
All right, guys. Last stack. Last six packs. Is it going to heat up? I mean, that's crazy. If I open two boxes and I don't get, like, even a gold, that tells you how bad, bad these print runs are. Like, when people get excited about rainbow foils, I have to remind them, you get, like, a rainbow foil in almost every single hobby box, or a retail box, so they're not rare. All right. Can we get hot here? We need it right now. Generation now, Dylan Carlson. Not going to do it. Lars Nukbar. Jared Walsh. Nelson Cruz. Comes another rainbow. Can we get a wander? Nope. Matt Veerling. There's a half a wander with Vladdy. That's a cool card. I didn't remember. I probably cruised right past that in my last one. Man, still no numbered. Not a single parallel, dude. That's crazy. Reed Detmers, rookie, 87. And no Wander Base either. Uh-oh. Last three packs, guys. I don't need a lot to get me over on what I spent, but that's not we're not looking to break even here. We're looking to hit home runs. That's what they call me in for. To hit them moonshots. Going one pack at a time here, and there was nothing. Come on. Zunino. Come on. Tired of these 87s already. <laughs> Unless I hit a wander. I'm not going to like those very much. I don't like that those count as like your insert. Last pack. Not a single numbered card. Not a single one. In two boxes. Crazy. Well, that second box was terrible. Terrible. Zero wanders. Zero anything. Literally hit a Manny Machado and some stuff that you could have pulled out of a retail pack. You know, so... Hey, is what it is, guys. That's how the that's how it goes. So, hopefully, this third box is gonna hit it. Much love. I'm gonna upload this and rip that third one. So, I'll catch you in a few. Peace.